Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out the next major version upgrade for the stable channel for desktop of Google Chrome version 114, which they started rolling out a couple of hours ago, which was um, on the 30th of May, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, there are a couple of new features that have been made available, and also we get the important security fixes in version 114, which Google does roll out in every major version upgrade, and version 114 is no exception. Now, because your browser is your first line of defense, um, just to double check that you have this update, and, uh, and to do this, we head to the menu, as always, help about Google Chrome, and the latest version in bold now after this update has been applied, as mentioned, is version 114 with the point release being bumped up to 0.5735.91. Now, depending if you are using Linux, Mac or Windows, that point release should either be 90 or 91. So if you are seeing 1991, your browser will be up to date with version 114. Now, um, this is an important security update, as always, um, because it does address 16 security issues. So 16 security fixes have rolled out. And out of those 16 security fixes, um, there are um, eight high-risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed. Now, high-risk flaws and vulnerabilities are your second highest exploit after a critical. So as mentioned, um, this is an important security update. And most of the high-risk vulnerabilities are common exploits that keep keep getting exploited in the Chromium-based web browsers. And you have heard me talk about some of these exploits before. Use after free is one of those and type confusion in V8. And that's type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, which is part of the open source Chromium project. So 16 security fixes rolling out addressing eight high-risk vulnerabilities. So just double check your browser is up to date as it is your first line of defense. Now with the security side of things out of the way, just to focus on some of the new improvements and features. Now, um, the first uh, new feature is rolling out using a controlled rollout and uh, um, it's the new uh, reading mode. Now, um, to see if you have the new feature, head to your site panel and click on the unified site panel uh, drop down menu and if you um, have received the feature you'll see a new reading mode appear here in this menu and if you haven't like me then um, it, it means that you will get it at a later stage because it is on a controlled rollout and google does roll out new features which is quite common sometimes using a phased approach when they do upgrade browsers to a new version upgrade like version 114. Now, what the new reading mode does, um, it does appear, as mentioned, in that side panel drop-down menu, and um, it's used to simplify the current page, which is being displayed. So, as an example, if you are reading an article, that will now be displayed as a simplified version in the side panel with different options to change the background, colors, font, line size, and just makes for easier reading. Now, um, if you aren't seeing the new feature, like I am not, uh, in the site panel, then you are able to um, enable it using an experimental flag. And I have posted on this previously, but just to do a quick recap. So if you're not seeing reading mode and you want to enable it, you can head up to your address bar, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And to bring up the relevant flag, just type in reader. And here's the flag reading mode and the description for the flag reads enables the reading mode feature which generates a reader friendly view of web pages open this open the site panel and select reading mode to try the feature as mentioned as always we change that that flag from default to enabled and then we'll have to relaunch the stable version of google chrome version 114 to apply that flag now as an example just to demonstrate i'm going to head over to wikipedia and i'm just going to head to the featured article of the day and now if we head back to our site panel yeah we get the new reading mode and as mentioned just simplifies the whole process and just gives you a simplified version of the current page now in the site panel now i'm going to just expand that so we can see it a little bit better for the purpose of today's video and just to go through some of these options yeah we get our fonts so you can change the actual font as you can see uh, yeah, we can um, decrease the font size and we can increase the font size. Yeah, we can change the theme. Now, the blue is the default. We can change that to default, light, dark, and yellow. I'm just going to keep it at yellow because I think you can see that better in the video. 
And then yeah, we can um, change the line height. So that's standard loose, very loose. And yeah, we can change the letter spacing. That's standard wide and very wide. So you get the general idea. There are a couple of options available just to make um, reading that um, main article in the side panels using the uh, reading mode, which just gives you a simplified layout. And I actually think that's a nice feature if you are prone to reading a lot of articles in Google Chrome. So that's rolling out using a controlled rollout. Or, and as mentioned, if you're not seeing the feature, then you can enable it using an experimental flag. Now, the next new feature also seems to be rolling out using a controlled rollout. And I have mentioned this previously as well, and I'm not seeing it, but um, we could be getting a new password manager, which should start rolling out if you're not seeing it like I'm not uh, in the main menu as part of the main menu options. Now, although I'm not seeing the new uh, Google password manager uh, in my main menu, if I head over to... Chrome Canary, which is the preview version and one of the preview versions. Yeah, if we head to the main menu, yeah, we get the Google Password Manager. And as mentioned, I have focused on this previously. So um, you may or may not see this Google Password Manager rolling out uh, in version 114. And just to go through um, what this is all about, if you are seeing the Password Manager in the main menu, uh, if you click on that, it takes you over to a new Password Manager page where you can see all your passwords. If you have passwords saved, you can do a password checkup, which will obviously just check your passwords. And now you get all your password settings. And if we head back to the stable version, currently, if you are not seeing the new password manager setup, this is currently what the password manager looks like. It opens up as part of the actual settings and not on its own dedicated page. So you may or may not be seeing a password manager, which seems to be rolling out using a controlled rollout. And uh, um, over and above that, um, there are some behind the scenes and under the hood features that are rolling out. Um, there are new web features and APRs for sites. Um, there's also a new um, a popover APR, which basically at the end of the day um, makes tooltips and other pop-up elements more consistent. Um, there's also some under the hood um, treatments and um, improvements to Bluetooth and WebAssembly features, but those are mainly under the hood aimed at developers and won't really interest be of interest to your average home user. Now, just one thing to take note of um, before we end this video, that's basically more or less what's rolled out with version 114. But just to mention something um, that I did post on a couple of days ago. Currently in Google Chrome, um, as an example, if I just head over to my YouTube channel, you get these hover cards. So if you head up to a tab, you get the hover card with the thumbnail preview, as you can see. So that's a thumbnail preview of my YouTube channel. Now, um, in version 114, there's also now a flag available, which has finally made its way now down to the stable version, which um, allows you now to disable those tab previews with the hover cards as described. And I know I did post on this a couple of days ago, but just to show you how you can do this in the stable version now of version 114, if you would be interested. So to, dis to disable the hover cards, which, which frankly I actually feel are quite distracting now also, um, if there are settings available in other browsers, I do disable the hover cards. So if you want to disable it, just head back to your um, experimental flags page by entering chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags into the address bar. And this time, just enter tab, hover. And the flag reads, tab hover card images shows a preview image in tab hover cards if tab hover cards are enabled. So we change that from default to disabled now. Because it is a default feature of Google Chrome. So take note, you must change it to disabled. To disable the feature, relaunch the browser to apply that flag and uh, um, now if we head back to my YouTube channel, you will see that that hover card thumbnail preview has been removed. Just to demonstrate one more time, there we go. So that's been disabled. So if you want to disable that feature, you can use the tab hover card um, images flag to just change that to default and uh, sorry, to disable and that will disable the feature. And that's more or less um, what's new. And uh, um, just on a side note, once again, um, the next um, stable version of Google Chrome, it's version 115, is expected to start rolling out next month on the 12th of July, which will be the early stable. 
and we can expect then the official um, stable version to roll out a week later. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.